Grade 7 Math, number 1.2b, adding integers with different signs, word problems. A classroom is having a car wash to raise money for an animal shelter, and the class spent $45 on supplies like soap, buckets, towels. They earned $248, including their tips. Their profit for the shelter is the amount they earned minus the cost of the supplies. Write a sum of integers to represent the classroom's profit. Well, the first thing I noticed was that they spent $45 on supplies like soap, buckets, and towels. So they spent their own money before they even had the car wash, didn't they? So they're minus $45 on their profit, aren't they? They're $45 in the hole. Well, they earned $248 that includes their tips. So their profit is the amount they earned, the $248, minus the cost of their supplies. But they spent the $45 before they earned the $248, didn't they? Now it says to write a sum of integers. That means there's going to be a plus sign in our equation. It says to write a sum of integers. So we can't just do $248 minus the $45. That won't work. So what we need to do is we need to write a sum of integers, okay? We need to find a way to add these two together, and the only way we can do that is to make the 45 a negative, okay? So we're going to have to add a negative plus a positive. So they spent $45, they earned $248, the profit is found by subtracting what they spent from what they earned. Now we know if they spent $45 that we could take it away from what they earned, and it's $203, $203. So to write our equation, we have to add the two together, so we have to add a negative 45 to a positive 48, 248. So what we do is we find the difference between the two numbers, between 45 and 248, and that's 203. Then we take the larger absolute value sign. So which number is farther from 0, 45 or 248? Well, 248 is way farther away from 0 than 45, isn't it? And it's a positive 248. So our answer is going to be a positive 203. We found the difference and then we took the sign of the one that was the farthest from 0, the 248. So to add integers that have different signs, we find their difference. Their different signs, we find their difference. See that? We take the sign of the integer that has the greatest absolute value, the integer that's farthest from 0. That's what absolute value means. Let's try this one. Bob bought a new lawnmower that cost $170 for his lawn mowing business. He mowed eight lawns for a total of $160. What was Bob's profit after subtracting the price of the mower? So we need to write this as a positive and a negative added together. So when he spent the $170 before he mowed the lawns, he went out and bought a new lawnmower. So he spent $170, so now he's minus $170 in his bank account, and then he earned $160. So does he have profit? Well, what's the difference between $170 and $160? Well, there's only a 10 difference, isn't there? They're only 10 apart. $160, $170. So they're 10 apart. But which one is farther from zero, $160 or $170? Which one has the biggest absolute value? The absolute value of negative 170 is 170. It's 170 hops from zero. And the absolute value of 160 is 160 from zero. Well, 170 is larger. It's got a larger absolute value. So we're going to take its negative sign for the answer. So the answer is negative 10. That's his profit. He's going to have to mow a couple more lawns, and then he'll have paid for his lawnmower, won't he? All right, let's try this one. Emma owed Tala $13.00 and she paid Tala 9. Write a sum of integers to represent how much she still owes. So we have to write a sum of integers. That means we're going to have a plus sign in our equation. So we can't just do 13 take away 9. We have to add them to get the answer. So the best way to do it is she owed $13, so that means she was minus 13 to Tala. After she paid her 9, that was plus 9. So now we have minus 13 plus 9. So we have 13 red dots to represent the 13 negative, and we have 9 green dots to represent the positive 9. And all we have to do is make 0 pairs, 
Don't even need to count them. Just keep making those zero pairs. And we don't have to count until we're done. We count how many are left over. And there's four red ones and red are negative, so our answer is negative four. See? Just do those zero pairs when it's smaller like that, smaller numbers. It's kind of hard to do when you're dealing with 170, but when it's a smaller amount, you can make the zero pairs, can't you? Now let's try doing it absolute value way. You have negative 13 plus 9. We find the difference between 9 and 13. What's 13 take away 9? Well, it's 4. And now the absolute value of negative 13 is 13, and the absolute value of a positive 9 is 9. See, they don't have a sign. It's just how far away they are from 0. Negative 13 is 13 spaces from 0, and 9, positive 9 is 9 spaces away from 0. That's their absolute values. We take the sign of the larger one, that's 13, so it's got a negative sign, so our answer is a negative 4. See? Just like we got up there. So remember, when you're adding different signs, you find the difference. See? When you're adding different signs, you find the difference. Then you take the sign of the integer that's farthest from 0. See? Like the 13. It's farther from 0, so we took its sign negative that made a negative 4. Okay? So we're going to go on to the next topic. We're going to start talking about subtracting integers that have the same sign. I hope to see you there. Bye.